Ooh, exciting times in the world of EVs in 2024 because, as we all know, it won't be long until the Tesla supercharger network opens up for non-Tesla EVs all over the country in the V3 and the V4 superchargers. I think the time is getting close. Of course, you'll never get an official announcement until the official announcement. But let's take a look at a new development that maybe is a sign that things are about to start opening up. Guess what I just got and it won't work yet but I just got it I saw that A to Z EVs NAX to CCS1 adapter is available to buy they make it really clear on their website that you can't use it yet that it won't work until the OEM car manufacturers have their deals with Tesla all set up and it's all turned on but you can buy the adapter now and it's 197 bucks I, of course, bought it because, uh, of course, I'm an idiot and I always buy all the cool new EV stuff. So I did order it. Now, it's going to take a couple weeks to get here. And, of course, I will definitely make a video about that when I receive it. Now, what that says to me is that it's they say it's approved. They won't say who approved it, but it's approved by OEMs. Um, and I know I saw an interview and, and what really got me looking for it was um, just in my YouTube feed uh, last night. A video that Tom Malagi made back, I don't know, three, four months ago, where he got a preview of that uh, adapter. The A to Z EV sent him one <clears throat> um, way back a few months ago. Tom did an interview with the CEO of A to Z EV all about the adapter and the safety approvals that they have to go through and all that. Um, it, it came up on my YouTube feed. So I was like, oh, let me go check out their website and, and you know, see if, there's any kind of announcement as to when it's going to be available and it was there ready for sale i don't know when it was posted there is a notice on there about any orders after january 15th uh, because the volume will take 10 to 15 business days you know for the adapter to arrive so i'm guessing it's probably right around january 15th that it went on sale and i didn't notice that i maybe other people have i haven't seen anything anywhere else about anybody buying this or that it was available so I thought it was pretty cool that it was just available. And yeah, it won't work, but um, to me, that's kind of the first sign that if a third party that's been working on an adapter is able to put it out there and sell it as quote unquote approved, um, that it can't be too long before these uh, the supercharger network opens up. Now, I have a Polestar 2. Um, Polestar is, of course, signed on for NAX and an adapter. And the last communication I had from Polestar was a little while ago. It was probably a couple months ago where they said that an adapter would be available in spring of 2024, whatever that means. So that could be anywhere from mid-March to mid-June, I guess. Um, and I'll probably still buy that one, too, whenever it comes out. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I wonder. I, I have to think that Tesla is probably going to sell an adapter of their own that will work with any vehicle because technically <clears throat> if you think about it all those magic docs that are out there right now those all have adapters on them right it's a tesla made max to ccs adapter so they already basically have them and know that they work so i have to think tesla's probably going to sell one i would imagine that you know ford gm polestar etc that they'll all probably have their own versions. Who knows who's gonna actually make them for them? Will they rebrand the Tesla version? Will they be working with companies like A to Z to private label? I don't know. But uh, just the fact that this is out and available is just a sign that it's getting close. I believe Ford had sent out some communication, possibly that sometime in February, that it would be turned on for their vehicles. Um, and, you know, we're just about there. Today is January 31st, as I'm recording this. And, um, you know, February starts tomorrow. So it could be any time. Um, so very exciting news in the world of EVs. I ordered the adapter. As soon as I get it, I'll make videos on it. Of course, you know, I know it probably won't work, but I'll certainly take it to the Magic Dock location that's near me and just see what happens <clears throat> without activating it as a non-Tesla, just to see if 
using the adapter if I can plug it into the Polestar and see if it works. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be turned on by then. Who knows? But um, just thought I'd throw this out there. That's uh, kind of a exciting time because, you know, maybe now as far as C you know uh, EV charging goes, we're going to start to see some massive improvements as we can start to use the Tesla supercharger network. And of course, I hope and pray that as more and more non-Tesla EV drivers begin to use the Tesla supercharger network more and more and more and other CPOs like Electrify America, EVgo, start to see possibly their usage numbers coming down, that they'll realize, oh, maybe we should be better at maintaining our chargers and keeping them online. I mean, Electrify America has been doing some good things as far as communication, but there's still so many chargers that just don't work all the time and they just need to get better at it. And I'm hoping that the extra competition from Tesla will make them realize in order to make money and survive as a business, they have to get better. So again, I'll say it one more time, exciting times in the world of EV charging. And so here we go, one month into 2024 and it's starting to get hot. So EVs are awesome and it's okay to be awesome. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.